Hi, I'm Neil, and for the last two years, I've been learning how to use Unreal Engine to make a game. And I wasn't optimistic when I started out because I had tried majoring in computer science in college and I didn't get very far. By the second semester, I dropped out because I realized I'm not a programmer. I couldn't translate the language, the words on the screen to what I actually wanted to make happen in the system. And so starting out with Unreal Engine, when I had an idea for a game, I was thinking to myself, well, I'll try this. And if I get decently far, then I'll keep going. And so it took me about a month just to figure out how to do the simplest thing. But as I was learning it, it became more and more fun to the point where I was loving it. And I realized, wait, 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 if I, a non-programmer can do this, then that means you can do this. So if you've ever had the idea to become a game developer, if you've ever thought to yourself, man, I'd love to do this someday, now's your chance with Unreal Engine 5 coming out. Even if you don't have a specific idea for a game, that's totally fine because as you learn the concepts and the tools and the functions that we're gonna use in Unreal Engine to, to make things, to build things, you're going to have ideas along the way because as I'm doing something, you're gonna to think to yourself, oh, I understand what he's doing, but I've got a different idea, I wanna do it a different way. And you're gonna understand the parts and the pieces to doing things. Um, and so some general guidelines before we really get into it. So first of all, I'm not making a multiplayer game. I'm not trying to make the next Fortnite. I have a single player role-playing game in mind. It has a specific story, specific idea. That's what we're gonna stick with. But also in that spirit of simplicity, we're not going to have to learn how to code for at least a while because I don't know how to code. You know, during that two year journey of learning Unreal Engine, I thought to myself, any, any day now, I'm gonna hit the point where, oh, ran into a problem, gotta learn C++. And as time went on, I just kept finding ways to solve the problems that I was running into or, or accomplish what I wanted to do in the game engine just using the tools within the game engine itself. But that being said, I'm still learning. I'm new at this. And so I'm sure that as we're going through this, there are going to be ways of doing things that I'm doing that just aren't the best way of doing it. And so if you have ideas, if ideas come to you and you say, oh, there's a better way of doing this and you post it in the comment, I'll make a follow-up video and give you full credit because I want this to be an interactive experience where I'm growing and learning just as well. And in that same vein, I'm gonna give you all the references to the people and the videos and the forum posts and everything that I found that I'm using to make this happen because I want you to be connected with the experts. You know, People are much smarter than me and experts in particular areas in knowing how to do those things in the game engine. And here's the last thing. So for the first time in human history, for the first time ever, you, me, you have the ability to make an interactive world. And I'm not talking about any kind of run of the mill RPG, typical out of the box, sword and board. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a world where the only limitation is your own imagination and your will to do it. And that's it. And for these last two years, when I've been learning how to make a game and we're in this time of incredible anxiety and depression, I'm thinking to myself, man, I have this, this secret spark of creation within me that I've, I've been able to draw on that and, and draw on the beauty and the goodness and the truth that comes from that process of creation. And I wanna share that with you. I wanna share it with you so you can fall in love with that process too, because once you do, you're gonna make it your own. And then, you can do anything with it. So let's get to it.